In this short video, I'll show you four examples on how to convert between imperial and metric units. This is part two. The question asks, convert each measure. In question A, they want us to go from eight feet to inches. So I'm gonna write down eight feet, and I'm gonna look for my conversion ratio in what's shown to my right, which are a list of conversion factors useful in this video. So since we are going from feet to inches, we need to find one that relates feet and inches, and this one does that. Now, if you remember from part one, make sure that you watch part one, every conversion ratio can be written as two different fractions. For example, this ratio can be written as 12 inches over one foot, or it can be written as one foot over 12 inches. And the one that we choose to multiply to 8 feet is the one that would have the feet at the bottom. Because by having the feet at the bottom, look what happens. The feet will cancel out. You see? Multiplying this with this cancels out the feet. And so we're left with 8 times 12 inches. And that is equal to, you can use your calculator, 8 times 12 is equal to 96. Let's do the same thing for B using the same method. So this was A, and now we're on B. So B, we're going from 5,000 meters, which is a metric unit, to another metric unit, kilometers. The conversion ratio we'll use in this example is shown right here, where it relates meters and kilometers. And the version that we will use is the one that has meters at the bottom this time. Because if the meters are at the bottom, 1,000 meters at the bottom and kilometers at the top, multiplying this out will cancel out the meters. 5,000 times 1 divided by 1,000 is equal to 5 kilometers. Now I'm sure that your teacher has shown you a different way of doing this. Maybe it's the cross multiplication method. The cross multiplication method is the same thing as this. It's just another name for it. Be mindful that there are many ways to figuring these out. Moving on to C, we have 120 millimeters which is another metric unit, this time to centimeters. This conversion ratio relates the two units, and we're going to multiply this by the centimeter at the top and 10 millimeters at the bottom. The millimeters cancel out, leaving us with 120 times 1 divided by 10, which is simply 12 centimeters. And finally, for question D, we're going from 1,320 yards to miles. The conversion ratio that relates yards and miles is shown right here. The version that you are going to use is the one where the yards are at the bottom. So we have 1760 yards at the bottom and at the top we have one mile. Multiplying this out on our calculator, 1320 times 1 divided by 1760 gives us an answer of 3 over 4 miles. And so there you have it, four examples on how to convert imperial and metric units. Stay tuned for part three. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.